Next is a system of checks and balances. This means that each branch of the government has some authority over the other branches. It limits the powers of each branch and assures that each one has to work with the other. That way, no one branch can become too powerful. For example, Congress passes the laws, but the president has the power to veto or reject the law. However, if two-thirds of the legislators still want the law, even after it's been vetoed, they can vote to override the president. And the Supreme Court can invalidate or cancel a law if it finds that the law contradicts or violates the principles of the Constitution. That's just one example of checks and balances. Like the separation of powers, the system of checks and balances assures that power within the government is kept in balance.